Valira versus Roll. For Doomhammer. Watch your back. <laughs> Alright, I'm ready for some shamans. Took a bit, a bit of a break yesterday, so... Salt level is minimal. Shaman, such a beautiful player. I like it. Give me a quest. I think I like starting with uh, conceal. I can spend a coin to buff quest in this way if I go on Tomb Pillager. Um, I waste coin buff on question since I can play Tomb Pillager anyway next turn. Without a coin, but question will be smaller if I play it next turn. I got to draw patches. That's uh, future. I have time for it. Prep conceal, but I kinda want him to deal with my stuff and some reasonably low amount of life, so maybe prep fan is better, deal with spell power. Here we go. Just as you asked. OMG, Stormcrack Shaman? Fuck at this. Yeah, very interesting, man. Like, they couldn't play anything, and you still fucked. My hand was pretty good, and it took him so little effort to kill it. Very perfect. Oh well, I can't do it yet. But man, I hit the Drake, maybe I had a chance there. Stormcrack is so good against Rogue. Valera versus Anduin. The light shall bring victory. I would have gone face here with Hex the 7-7. And really he shouldn't have had those cards. Buckstep is fine, I think. And deal with first minion he plays. Denying a good Cabal Tail on Priest is quite important. Thanks, Attrition88 for sub with Twitch Prime. For once in a row, appreciate it. Saying, Hi, God, can you try to make Ram Druid work again?
know it's not good against aggro, right? You know that 70% of others aggro. Maybe you should try to meta changes a bit, if it will. Here we go. Pirate Cancer? I mean, it's a rogue. It used to be you no know, pirate deck, now it's not a case anymore. Should be very difficult to kill this one. So I want my guys to be at 4, maybe. If it's a Dragon Priest, he should have double death in deck. Hmm. So I should be okay about leaving the Whelp. Like, how's it bad? He can buff it with the Cabal Tail and Priest, but don't care so much, really. Give me a quest. He can Argos, I suppose. I could trade, technically. Argos only on one, on one minion, it's not so great for him, I don't think. Help army. No, no more dragons. Four spells, eight damage, eight plus eight plus seven, that's enough. Quest accepted, quest accepted. Quest accepted. West completed. <sighs> Just want one pirate, right? Just one, no two, and preferably not the patches. I cut a blood mage, I guess. I killed different deck then. One that I need, shaman. Oh, one one perfect. The ideal hit. I mean. It's like a flame imp with no drawback for everyone who has a weapon, right? How is it bad? And you also get the 1 1 for free. Pretty good, I think. It has 3 mana, it's ideal hex. I think I would rather save the coin. I guess I could also save a fan. Can't coin out 7-7 seven, seven because of Overlord, even if he has it. More coins happier auctioneers. Yeah, I think he's dead. <laughs> Something should go seriously wrong for me to lose this. Is it ever worse to double coin pillager on 2 if you have it? Normally it's not. Normally it's never worth it. 
Because deck is quite good too. Spending two coins in this way. You know about it. So you have two back steps. So many options. This auction here will be pretty good, I think. One mana ten ten overload ten. I won't happen. <laughs> when you can overload for more amount of mana than you already have, that's down because you don't overload for next turn for extra overload you're processing something like that all right let's wreck him going 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 i prep sub a viscal blood 6 10 15 Let's start with back steps, maybe. A bit. This is my lethal setup too. By keeping small time back in here, I can go back a this a this hero power. This video is brought to you by G2A.com.